In today's video, we'll be looking at how we can populate a field within an Elementor Pro form based on a button within a single post. So we want to populate the post title from our single post when we click on a button. So let's see, when I click on this button, you can see it populates the form with the post title of that single post and everything is done using the URL parameter and dynamic shortcodes. So let's go ahead and see how we can do all of this. The plugins I'm using for this tutorial are Elementor and Elementor Pro version 3.23 and Dynamic Shortcodes version 1.4.1. So let me go ahead and open the single post template. So this is my single post template for my events. Then I'll go ahead and open the button. So here we have the button. All we need here is the link. I'm going to be using a dynamic shortcode for the link. Let me clear this out for now. So you go under the dynamic tags. Then I'll choose the dynamic shortcodes. I'll click on the wrench icon and now I can go ahead and start typing in the post URL for my contact form page. But instead of doing that, I will make my life easier. I'll just come under my contact form page. This is the page for the contact form. When I open it to edit with Elementor, if you go to the top, you see post equal to 20. So that is the ID of this contact form page. So I can now come back to my button and all I'll do is open and close the curly brace and say post column permalink at id equal to 20. That will give me the id for my contact form page. Then the next thing I want to do is add a URL parameter because it's that URL parameter that I'll be using within my form. And all I need to do is get the id of the current post and send it to the contact form page. So I'll use a question mark to start your URL parameter. Then I can give this parameter anything like ID, name or anything. So I'll just use ID because that's easy to remember. So, or I can use the same way they did here, post. So I'll say post equal to, then I'll just use the second one, which is just called post column ID. What this is doing is that it's going to pull out the post ID from the current post because I didn't specify an ID. When you don't specify an ID, it takes the ID of the current post. That's it. Or well, let me just use ID because that is a more universal one. So ID equal to post column ID. And that's it. So we can now go ahead and publish it. So that's it for our form button. So this is the button on the single post template. Then I'll go ahead onto my page and I'll add in a new form. So let's just assume I've added the form already. So this is the form. Then I'll add all of my different form fields. And the main one I'm concerned with is the post title. So that's this post title field. So all you have to now do is come under the advanced tab. Then the default value, this is where you now get from that parameter. So I'll clear this out. So I'll click on the dynamic tags. I'll choose dynamic shortcode. Click on the wrench icon. And all I'm trying to get here now is the title of the post. First, we've already defined what the ID is. So here we are showing that the ID will be transferred to the post using the query parameter. So I come back and I'll just say, open and close the curly brace param, that is parameter, param dash get colon. Then I'll specify what is the query parameter. In this case, it's ID, so I'll just ID. What this is now giving me is the ID of, that's my single post, but what I want is the name. So I'll now use this ID, I'll wrap it into a post shortcode. So open the curly brace and say post colon, then this time I want the title, so title 
you can see at id equal to this id then i'll close the curly brace and just for simplicity to see whenever there is no title then i can just give a default value i'll put a question mark and then either i put a blank quotation mark or i can spell out something in there so let me just say post title so when there is no query parameter to pull from it will just display post title but whenever there's a query parameter it will pull the name from the id within the query parameter let me publish this so now i can come over to my single post open one of the posts so let me just go to a random post so this is an event I'll open a random one like this eSports World Championship. I'll come on that to contact us. If I click on it, you see it gives the ID equal to 51. And then the post title then becomes the eSports World Championship. And that's how easy it is. And if I go ahead and remove the query parameter, it defaults back to post title. So this is how simple and easy it is. You can do it for your users. You can even mask the ID. If you don't want the users to be able to know how the ID is, you can mask it and then use some different tricks so that you can pull in the data that you want, but then the users will understand what the query parameter is. But in this case, it's just something simple. So you don't really need to bother to do that. But yeah, that's how easy it is using dynamic shortcodes. If you have any questions, please do write it in the comments. If you have anything you want me to explain further, please let me know in the comments as well. If you've liked the video, please do like it. Share the video. Write in the comments that the video helped you out. And until next time, bye.